Hello everyone, Danny here today to talk to you about a book that I got because it addresses something that I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to write a book. And, and when I've sat down to write a book, I've discovered that it's a lot more different than, than most books on the subject of writing make it out to be. Most books that address writing, if, if you read anything about writing, anything like that, they, they make it sound like all you got to do is connect with your prose, connect with your inner creative self and, and express yourself and then just persevere until the world recognizes your amazing greatness. I my hat's crooked there. And, and go from there. This book takes a completely different angle. The book is called The Secrets of the Story. It's written by a gentleman who is a, a, a writer for Hollywood. He, he's, he's involved in Hollywood. He's also a professor. He teaches classes on writing. And right away, he makes it very clear that the whole idea that all you have to do is connect with your inner creative prose is complete and utter malarkey. He, he talks about, you know, you, you hear the stories of <clears throat> J.K. Rowling being turned down by, you know, 500 different uh, publishers and then finally she persevered and, and got through. But as he brings out... What's left out is the fact that, you know, most people, you get to your fifth rejection and every single rejection is saying the exact same thing, that you're being rejected for the same reason. You're going to go in and you're going to try to fix it. So what they don't address is that this author, sure, this author got turned down 50 different times. And I don't know if J.K. Rowling got turned down. That's just an example that I, that's a name I know well enough to come up with. It could be any author. You hear these stories of these authors. Hey, they got turned down a hundred times. But what they leave out of the story is that after the first couple of rejections, they started rewriting. They started editing. They started improving their works. They started listening to the criticism they were getting. Because writing is a skill. And like any skill, it takes practice to develop it. It takes practice to get good at it. You have to learn how to get good at it. And he has seven elements of story writing that he considers vital. And in this book, he goes in and he breaks down those seven elements. He goes into great detail with it. He lets you know what he considers most important, what absolutely vital to important, to, you know, if you want to take your story from good to great, then this is what you need. But then he goes into really great detail about, you know, what makes that up. What he considers most important is your ability to create a character that the audience can empathize with, that they can connect to. They don't have to even like the character. They just have to be able to empathize and connect with the character. How do you do that? And he gives great detail on how to do that. He does not make writing sound like just sit down at a computer, start typing, connect with your inner prose, and before you know it, you'll be a New York Times bestseller. He doesn't make it sound like that at all. He makes it sound like what it is. A lot of hard work. A lot of thinking and editing, and rewriting, and discovering where you're weak. What are you good? You know, I'm good at conceptualizing a story. But I'm weak at creating characters. And, and I don't know, but he, he, you know, figuring out what you're strong at, figuring out what you're weak at, and then how to fix your areas of your weakness. If you want to understand the writing process, if... You want to write a book and you want to be a good author and you're willing to put forth the work. I would like to write a book, but I don't care enough about writing a book to put forth the work. 
Obviously, writing is not something I have a passion for because I'm not willing to suffer for writing. Excuse me. I'm not willing to suffer for writing. So, after listening to this book, I know, hey, it's a waste of my time to sit down and write a story. Not because I can't be good at it, but because I'm not willing to put forth the amount of effort that would be required. There's more to it than just connecting with my inner creative and coming up with a story and then sending it out, being willing to keep sending it out to publishers until someone recognizes my greatness. There's more to it than that. And I'm not willing to go through the more to it than that. So I'm not going to waste my time writing a story. The same time, as I'm listening to stories, I am able to recognize and spot, you know, this, this author, the problem with this book is this author did not create a character that I can empathize with. And it doesn't have to be the main character, but there's no character in there I connect with. There's no character I care about or empathize with. That's why I don't like that book. Or you know what? This book, the author nailed this, this, this. That's why this book is awesome, because the author nailed all these different kind of things. The narration really is wonderful. Love the narrator. Love the narration. Spot on. His voice adds energy. His voice adds excitement to it. And the book is chock full of examples from Hollywood. Because the writer works in Hollywood and is intimate with Hollywood, the book has just a multitude of examples. Why did this movie fail? Here's why this movie failed. Why did this movie succeed? Here's why this movie succeed. And not only do you learn a lot about writing and the writing process, you learn a lot about Hollywood and how Hollywood works. So if you want to be a writer for Hollywood, a copyright, I, I don't know what they call them, but you know, a screenwriter, boom. If you want to be a screenwriter, this is a book you must listen to, an absolute must. Anyhow, any questions, comments, or feedback, please send them my direction. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you like my channel, subscribe, turn on notifications. You'll get notified when I post a video. But most importantly, the number one thing I want you to do today is to make sure that you listen to at least one really good book. Thank you.